Hello everyone and welcome back to the second Voidless Reborn devlog. This week I was focusing on making the game look good and presentable and I'm pretty sure by my accounts I achieved that goal quite well. The first thing I did was create some tile variation in the ground so that it wasn't just plain like one color everywhere. Uh, I first did this by getting an array of random values from a noise texture I'm not really sure why I did that instead of just using the norm, the random function. And then assigning uh, the color to each of those tiles through some calculations. I later changed that into simply having a second grid of uh, integers, which hold all the random values for every single tile on the map and are regenerated every time the map is regenerated. Then I moved on to clouds. I generally try to avoid .fx files, because HLSL is very scary, and I'm scared of it. Uh, but here I used one to transform a cloud texture with black and white into just white and alpha. And even with that I had a bit of trouble, but I got it working. And the clouds move very slightly to the left, and also they have a very slight parallax. And the next thing I did was add a vignette, which I just made using uh, a function in pay.net. And I added some dirt and lens flare, and the texture for that I actually got a long time ago uh, from the Unity Asset Store for free. And I, I think it's very handy, and it really improves the look of the game a lot without that much effort. Then after that I made a quick sun, which is just a circular gradient. I also made it fade in and out depending on the, if there is ground in front of it. And at the moment this isn't really noticeable, but later when I added background islands it was a lot more important detail. And I also added little outlines to the player character and the cursor. And to do this all I did was basically draw the texture 8 times uh, at a slight offset on the top left, top, top right, left, right, bottom left, bottom and bottom right. And I'm aware that this is not very good for the CPU, but the game still runs at a silky smooth 60fps when I'm not recording, so I think it's fine. Then the next thing I did was add islands in the background, which followed their own parallax, and to do this I just made another grid of booleans, and generated terrain similarly to how I generated the normal terrain, except with a lot more open space, so the sun would be visible more often than not. Then this change is quite subtle, but I think it's really effective. I added a slight gradient to the bloom texture, so that you could see a bit of yellow around the middle, and it would go from like a teal blue to a dark blue at the borders. Then after that I made some little particles, which were just squares that would decrease in size over time, and the player character generated them while he was flying, or when he was walking or jumping. You can also see the first beginnings of water, though it doesn't look really good. And this is the reworked version of the water, which is the final change that I made. The water is stored in a separate grid, and it generates in long lines, uh, both depending on a noise texture and whether or not there are tiles above and to the side. And then I set some of them randomly to white instead of the normal blue. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed, I really like this new look of the game. Uh, the next thing I'll focus on is the UI.